What's up, Seashells? It's Shelby, and I am back with another hair video. So, today's sponsor is Tanasha Hair. I love this company so much, by the way. So, I finally got a 99J wig, y'all. And if y'all don't know what a 99J wig is, it's a burgundy wig. And I got all these goodies in the box. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the drill. So, without further ado, let's just get on into the video. So, before I even attempt to put this on my head, I got this lace frosting concealer palette from Wig Bakery on Instagram. First of all, this is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Like, lace frosting. Where you come up with that? Like, how do you even come up with that? How? This is what it looks like. It has nine different shades to choose from. Like, I feel like my shade is one of these two. But I don't know. I'm just going to keep experimenting until I get it right. It also came with a little brush that you use to put it on. This one is for putting the concealer in your part. And the bigger one is for rubbing the concealer that matches your shade on the inside of the lace. So you're basically tinting the lace with this brush. The brush is so soft. It is unbelievably soft. And I just feel like pizza and they did a thing with this. Like this is so creative and cute. Like this is the cutest thing I have gotten for my wig, right? She also has this mousse, but it's a four-in-one melt foam. So with this mousse, you can actually have a glueless install. So it's a glueless lace melt. It is quite sticky once you put it on. So I can see how you could use this for a glueless install. I can use it to sculpt the baby hairs, which I have. It tames flyaways tremendously. Like, you just slap a little bit on and you just go like that and they don't move. Do not move. And it defines curly hair. I have tried this in a curly wig as well and it works wonders. So, girl, I don't know what you put in this. I don't know what you put in this, but I love it. So, I am still trying to decide if I want to curl this wig or if I want to straighten it for some reason I feel like I want to straighten it I'm going to put some concealer on the inside of the lace not too much though just a little bit just a little bit I'm literally putting the smallest amount simply because I don't want it to look orange when I put it on my head all right so it's tinted and what I'm going to do so it doesn't run <laughs> is put a little bit of the got to be free spray on the inside let it dry for a little bit and then fit it on my head you know what I think my problem is I have no patience when it comes on to installing wigs like when I sit cash on top and then say them I make them them lace melt like out 20 minutes I'm like what and I'm here struggling to get to 10 no wonder my wig's always lifting <laughs> anyways I'm gonna try to put this on yes I already did the ball cap method two days ago because I've been wanting to film this video and the motivation was just not there the energy you know the strength was just not there but you know I have it this morning 10 o'clock bright and early so, let's see what sis is giving. Oh my giving Ariel. <laughs> mm -mm. I love this hair color. I am obsessed. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm wondering if I could just do this install with free spray only because I don't feel like <laughs> using the actual got to be glue I just don't feel like it all right maybe I'll do one layer so I'm going to do one layer of the got to be glue and then for the other two layers I will use the um, this free spray
again. It's a red stick. This is what everything looks like when I put the makeup on. Mm. Mm. Not coming too close because I'm still not the greatest at installing wigs, but from afar, baby, I know this look good. I know it look good. I know it does. So a big thank you to Tinashe Hair for sponsoring today's video and sending me this gorgeous 99J wig. Make sure you click the link in the description to shop this hair. And if you like more videos like these, just comment down below and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!